Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about hiring staff. Hiring staff. Staff are the integral part of a growing successful online marketing company. How do you get the best staff working for you? Where do you find people that can help you grow your business? And what can you do to ensure that you hire the right people and that you don't waste tons and tons and tons of time with the wrong type of staff? So I have probably hired in the region of 50 members of staff over my lifetime so far, I'm just a young guy, but I have over 20 members of staff working for me right now, and I've hired freelancers, you know, um, short-term members of staff, all sorts of different types of staff, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a few things that you need to keep in mind when you're going to hire staff, and then some of the tools that you can actually use out there right now to get staff for your business. So, there's two different um, types of staff you can hire. You can either hire like full-time or part-time staff, or you can have like contractors, Okay. Based on whatever the job is, um, you're going to want to hire one of each. A lot of people, what they do is they focus way too much on hiring full-time and part-time members of staff when sometimes there's some tasks in your business which can be done by contractors. I will always try to go to contractors first because I don't want to pay out for a long period of time and have the burden of a member of staff in my business unless that person is going to provide long-term repetitive value to the business, okay? So... Um, you want to consider the difference and then the other thing you want to consider is this fancy word which I don't really like the, the word but it's important is culture okay now culture is pretty important especially if you're hiring full-time or part-time members of staff you really want to understand what your business is all about and how you work and some of the values that you as a business owner or you as your company stands for and you want to try and find people which fit in with those things so for me and my companies, my main piece of culture is that everyone can achieve, you know, remarkable amounts of pay, remarkable amounts of results, just remarkable things in business and freedom and in, in, in working if they provide more value. And the way I do this is I incentivize my members of staff to do more valuable things such as taking tasks off other people, automating tasks through management. I teach them about the tools required to get them working as a business owner within my company, which gives them the opportunity to have more freedom, make more money, and have more time to relax and have a longer weekend, for example. I don't really care about how many hours my staff members work at a management level, because what I really care about is the result. And at the end of the day, if one member of staff can provide 10 times the value of someone else doing a tenth of the hours, I don't care. So that's my culture. My culture is very focused on results and it's very focused on any sort of potential if they can learn the skills required to offer more value. Now, for you and your business, you might have a different culture. And when I hire people, they understand my culture and I want to make sure that they fit in with that. I want to make sure that when I hire someone, that they fit in with my staffing culture. So this is massively, massively important. And no matter what service or tool you're using to get your staff, this is the kind of communication you want to have. And the best business owners in the world get very good at working with people to understand if you're going to work well with that person or if it's going to be a bad fit. And that only comes from experience. So how can you hire staff? What websites do you use? Well, there's two different types of staff I hire for. There's managers and then there's what I would call fulfillers, okay? These are the two kind of broad categories of staff. So a manager is a very important member of staff. These, these are people um, that I like to call like my AIs, okay? So if you don't know what AIs are, it stands for artificial intelligence. It's a computing term where basically you give a piece of software some instructions or tasks that you wanted to solve and an AI will work out the best and fastest and most effective way of completing that task. That is what I like to think of as my managers. My managers are people who I give a broad goal and I don't tell them even specifically how to do that goal, but I'll say to them, hey, I want to achieve this. I want to send this many emails. I want to get this many links built. I want to get this job done. And the manager will work out how to get that done as an AI. They will figure out the best people to use, the best systems to use. They will figure out the fastest way from A to B to get there. And they'll do a better job than me because those people are just focusing on that one thing every single day. So that's my managers. And then underneath those managers are fulfillers. And those are people who essentially just do a lot of the work that goes into creating the task. So a manager might work with, you know, multiple different fulfillers and those people will follow the SOPs and tasks set out by that manager. Now, if you're hiring managers and fulfillers, it's going to be a slightly different hire and a slightly different person that you're looking for for each type of person. So 
I want to talk first of all about managers. Managers I like to be local to me. You can get managers in other countries. I personally like to have a personal connection with a lot of my managers and be able to meet them and sit with them and speak to them. But that is totally up to you. Some people can work very well remotely with a manager and that is absolutely fine. But I use websites like Indeed. Um, you can also go to local networking events, which I've met very, very good previous members of staff as well from. Um, and these kind of websites are going to get you local interest or people who are very, very useful for your business. The best members of staff I've hired have honestly been people that have outreached into my company directly. And that's because, again, they understand probably my culture. They understand what I'm all about. So I've had people that have literally directly hit up my business and they have got jobs because they've wanted a job with me and they understand me and what I'm like as a person. So those are the kind of best people I've had. So always look in your inbox. Don't think of job applications as spam. That person that reaches out to you in your agency website could be one of the best people you ever hire especially if you put a lot of content out there. Um, but yeah, local networking events, local um, job advertising sites like Indeed. There's some other ones, I think, in the USA. There's also another one called Gumtree in the UK, um, which is very, very good as well. You can see Gumtree here. You can put up job ads on here. But I'll just place up job ads. And again, I'm looking at the person and I want to see if for someone that's really, really good. For fulfillers, so for the second layer of this, I like to really go to the Philippines or abroad because you can get some remarkably smart people who can work remotely in your business and they're you know a lot cheaper than what you might pay in the UK or USA. Um, for some of our members of staff, we pay as little as three or $400 a month full time for some people and that's a very good wage out in the Philippines. So one of the services I use for that is onlinejobs.ph. You can check it out here. I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. If you don't want to hire people, there's this great service called Remote Staff Seeker who I've had some VAs from in the past. These guys are awesome at sourcing staff for you and they charge a little bit on top um, for doing that and that's how they make money. But these guys will find you know amazing virtual assistants. And when I'm looking at virtual assistants, I'm really looking at skills and personality. And again, does that person fit in with the company? Um, a lot of our virtual assistants that we hire now aren't even hired by me. I have managers that actually hire the virtual assistants for in some cases now. But these members of staff are going to be rock stars on getting stuff done. And you can have them working underneath managers, okay? Or you can work directly with them. So really what you need to do is you need to look at what the member of staff is for and try to get a feeling for what type of you know, job ads you're going to put out there and who you're trying to attract. You want to get very clear on your culture and your values within your company so that you can actually get the right people. When people mess up and they don't hire good people and they have problems with members of staff, it's because they don't understand what they're about as a company. They don't understand what motivates their employees. And what you need to have is the same motivations for you as a company to match up with the employee. You have to have the, the person that's working for you really understand what this company is all about and what it is that you guys are trying to achieve so that that person fits in well and everything you do all day long motivates that person to strive on and do more. So that's my best pieces of advice for hiring. Those are the best websites that I recommend. I'll leave all the links to all of these below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, give it a like, it massive, massively helps me out on this channel. You can also subscribe if you want more videos just like this. And thank you very, very much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.